best life. Please welcome Rosalind Kahn. Hi, I'm Jim Deere, City Councilman in the City of Carson, California, which you're welcome to at any time. Love to have you visit. Our city is in transition. Uh, wasn't too many years ago when I first took office, the uh, city was really a bedroom community slash industrial city, and that's not a common combination, and I wanted to change it to be a destination community. So, uh, real quickly, the uh, Dignity House Sports Park was built, and that was a catalyst for change in the city of Carson. We're ready for change again, because that was built in 2003, and we brought in a number of restaurants, a movie theater, um, created a, a sculpture garden called the Carson International Sculpture Garden. There's only one sculpture at this point. Uh, it's the statue of Dr. Jose P. Rizal, Filipino national hero. We want to have many other sculptures in that garden. So to answer your question, one of my main thrusts is to get that sculpture garden uh, back with uh, inviting and, and building more uh, cultural arts uh, uh, statues. The theme is world peace as well as heroes and heroines of liberation, freedom, and democracy from around the world. So that, that's one of the big projects that I'm pushing for, uh, in addition to economic development in general, and bringing in more restaurants, especially Filipino restaurants, in the Carson. Hey, everybody, this is Rosalind Khan from Chow Entertainment, living your best life. Today is my distinct pleasure and honor to be with Gio Bada from Hollywood Heart Magazine. How are you? Well, I'm doing great. Um, I'm very excited and happy to be here. Uh, the magazine uh, that I publish is uh, called Heart of Hollywood Magazine. And um, I mean, I can't wait to feature art like what we're seeing today because it's really, truly amazing and inspiring. You know, art is something that always it inspires me through all my life. You know, I've picked out this, this beautiful image. And could you tell me why, what about this image resonated with well, I think it shows the passion, just like the title, right? So, um, doesn't have to, you, you don't see necessarily the face of the person that you might be dancing with, or the person that you like, or your lover, you see like the thoughts, right? So it can represent everyone, and I think I, I like the dancing, and I like the, the way that, you know, you interact with people, and you share emotions, and I think that this piece, is uh, is sharing an emotion. You see the the, the way with the legs fall down and the the, the the knee going there. It's just like full of action. So I think that the artist was like uh, rocket and putting that title to the to the sculpture. So it's uh, yes, I saw it online. So I'm very happy that I'm seeing it uh, in real because uh, it's just captivating. So I, I do really like this. No, it's, it's absolutely true. Passion is, is the key that to all of us, what we like, what we adore, what we appreciate. And prior to doing this interview, you mentioned something about you made a transition, you were on the production side, and you wanted to come and take the place inside the magazine. What is it that you wanted to do when you took that role in the magazine? Well, I am still on the production side, but I feel that people that wasn't a celebrity or that have a they have not been established, perhaps. And they need, they had a voice as well, you know, and they needed a channel to express themselves, and they needed a proper channel, you right. know. And so, uh, I, I believe in uh, quality content, and also I love art, and I love people and interact with people, and so I think that if I can be of service to someone to share their voice through the magazine and use it as an outlet, I think that I'm doing my job. Fantastic. So I think that that is the purpose. Fantastic. Are there particular stories that you're looking to cover in your magazine? Well, yes, I, I am looking for covering different stories, but particular, I guess, those ones that are willing to open their heart and share their heart, right? And um, because that's what we need right now. I right. think that we need the people that make the chance to, not that people is not real, but they, they're actually show who they are and are willing to inspire others. So when you think of an 
example of someone who does that for you that's really inspired you? Who's, who's a person who's in the art world who, who has a name or maybe doesn't have a name but someone is a source of inspiration that you can give as an inspiration of the type of person you're looking for? Or if we can model that, 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 that feeling and momentum just being their, their authentic, true self, that would be for you. Well, I do have favorite artists, right? So I love Monte Bellani. Um, I like Rita Tala. And I, I think that I like just literature in general, but especially uh, poems. I always like poetry. I think that I consider poetry a very raw form of expression. Right, and I think that sometimes you don't have to say much. Maybe you can say just a few words, and those few words for you are very meaningful or what you are intended to say. Like for me, uh, coming to this country it was very difficult to, it still is very difficult to express myself because due to the language or um, the grammar and all of that. So. In my language, I tend to be very expressive, right. and I tend to have all the words and you know the, all the ABCs right. But in English, I have to be very short, and sometimes I feel like I'm inside a box, and I cannot really express what I'm trying to say because I don't know the word, I don't know the meaning, or I don't know um, how to say it in the words that I want to express myself. So I think that. Poetry it before was important to me, now it's even more important because I become to uh, communicate in a short way to describe what I'm feeling. No, that's, that's beautiful. You know, I've, I've learned Spanish as a second language, and one of the things that when you learn a language, the key to having it right is you're not translating each and every word. But I can say sentences by going around and giving them that sense. But, you know, our, our voice and our heart carries that emotion. Yeah, and if it's short and simple, you can still get that expression. I mean, we're looking at this, but we don't see their faces. We know what they're going to say. And I think you need to give yourself confidence in what you can do, what you are doing, that you're, that you're out there. So if someone wanted to follow and become a part of your magazine and, and write or send something in, what would they need to do to become part of your magazine? Well, uh, before I go there, I do want to mention something that it goes. I walked through this activation, and one thing that it really caught my eye is that you see the monochromatic, you know, the, the, the figures, right? And it's a mirror. Right. It's like you can see yourself, you can see yourself and the sculptures, and it's like this one in specific doesn't have the, the cuts, you know, the, the geometrical cuts. But this one does have the cuts, and, and an image can you can see the same image and move, move, you know. Right, right, right. And I'm not sure exactly. That's one question that I might want to have for the artist. Right. He, if he was also intending that you know the person reflect himself into the sculpture. Right. Exactly. You know, because they, you can see yourself. You know, in the box, you can see the set yourself into this mirror. And through the whole exhibition, I have seen this mirror, that reflection. So I, I, I just kind of want to know a little bit more about that. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a very good question to ask because they often say that when you have someone who's against you or has a different sense of opinion and they're cutting you down or making you mad, it's really themselves they're mad at. Throwing themselves they're mad at. So maybe possibly the artist wanted to take us to get a chance to, to, to look at who we are and who we are giving out to the world. And I, I had a gentleman come to my class, his name was Kurt Kruger, he's an international peace lab, and he said these words, that when someone hurts you at a venue, you need to say, ouch. Because if you don't, you hold those things inside of you. 
and you get all sorts of illnesses and sick and you don't feel very well. So I want you to feel better each and every day. Well, thank you so much for that. I think I'm not blind. I'm not sure that I've been blind that very often. <laughs> well, there, there you go. We, we, all, we all live and we all live and we learn. And so I want to be able to follow your magazine. And how, how do I do Okay, so you can go to Heart of Hollywood Magazine on Instagram. Uh, you can find Heart of Hollywood Magazine on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and you can go on the social media platforms, but it's uh, Thank you for your interest in InFlight USA and our newest publication, BizAvJets USA. We serve general and business aviation throughout the U.S. For more information on submitting articles or advertising in our publications, visit InFlightUSA.com. Thank you. Biz Abjets USA Magazine is a new publication to the business aviation industry. And business aviation is a growing and thriving industry. We plan to bring you all the latest trends and news. We also plan to bring you new information about new airframes, systems, and interiors to market. Feel free to visit bizabjetsusa.com. Senior Care Authority is a one-stop solution for helping you locate senior living options. We understand the care, the cost, and the safety records of hundreds of communities, from assisted living and memory care to independent living and even skilled nursing. We help families cut through the complexity to make courageous, informed decisions under difficult circumstances. Good evening, my name is Arlene Ross. I am the city councilwoman for the city of Carson. And tonight was a beautiful night here at the Philippine American Chamber of Commerce in Marina del Rey. And we are celebrating unity and celebrating the Filipino American culture and just really coming together as one and uh, enjoying the company and promoting Filipino Americans. So as I said, I'm the councilwoman for the city of Carson and we would like you to come out and enjoy uh, our city. We have one of the highest uh, number of Filipino Americans in the city of Carson. And we have some events that are coming up in uh, June. Actually, let me go back. We have May Fest. Uh, where we have Jair performing uh, in the city of Carson. We also have the Philippine Independence Day, and then we have uh, Friendship Day. We have July 4th. We have Philippine American History Month. So there's a lot of events in the city of Carson celebrating the Filipino culture. Uh, so again, for all those out there that want to come to the city of Carson and celebrate with us, you are definitely welcome. So again, thank you, Arlene Rojas, City Councilwoman for the city of Carson. Thank you. We are here at the LA Art Box. We are here with a famous artist. His name is Joffrey. Joffrey, say hello to the crowd. Hi, everyone. I don't know if I'm famous, but thank you. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get into the world of art? So I was originally um, a designer, I had a background in urban design and planning, and uh, very simple, um, 15 years ago in 2008, I had a heart attack, triple bypass surgery, cashed out my 401k and did art competitions, and then was fortunate to win 12 of my, won eight of my first 12 finalists in my first year as a public artist. Wow, you know, the show that I cover is called Living Your Best Life with Roslyn Khan. Always talks about people going in and overcoming adversity. My own father had a heart attack, and he had 15 years on his extension program. You know, tax accounts don't like their extension yeah. programs, but it's the best side of us comes out when we yeah. see our life at our worst adversity. Had you ever had any inspiration of, of art any time before that heart attack had come up? Well, I was always um, in design, right? So I think we're all we're all artists. Um, we just have a different medium of exposing or communicating that that sort of artistry. 
But, you know, for me, um, you know, art in terms of the physical form was always in terms of buildings or landscapes or design, urban design or product design. I really wanted to get into um, things that talk about um, relationships between cities um, and the people who occupy those cities um, and creating these large icons around the world that talk about uh, place making and city building. Right, right, right. Tell us a little bit about the exhibit that we're at here in Los Angeles. So, like I said, as starting as a public artist, most of my work was really large scale, ranging from nine story to 24 stories tall. Um, and uh, I've never exhibited in a museum, so last year I was having the first time in my solo museum exhibit at the Langer Museum of Art, which was like a 10,000 square foot exhibit. And the exhibit is now going out to, the, to Asia. And as it was moving out west, there was an opportunity here at LA Art Box to do a little pop-up. And I thought it was a great opportunity being a Filipino-American LA having a large uh, Philippine American population, the owner being Philippine American, to be able to kind of share my work here, um, free and inclusive, so everyone can see my work before it goes out to each other. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. You know, I, I once had an opportunity to work with another artist, uh, you know, his name is Gazit, and he's a person who would go to places in the world that were on the, the process of no longer existing, and he put up these flight he put up these these creations to allow people to see and understand what's going on. Also, the things in big, large areas and things like that. He's from Israel and things like that. It's always wonderful interviewing an artist because it's that passion that they have behind behind what it is they're doing. Was there some of that influence when you were young? Uh, I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, like, in terms of, I think we're all creatives anyway when we were younger. But the idea of um, having anything that I was doing as a child. I mean, we all draw and we all are creative when we're younger. I think our, our mind is more free when right. we're younger. So I think, you know, um, as you get older, the, um, people start to structure you like, in terms of trying to figure out what you want to be and not be. Um, and for me, I just kind of broke out of that mold or that box and tried to, to kind of just do, you know, become an artist, right? Whether it's doing art in terms of sculpture or paintings or product designs or, um, giant icons or even buildings. I, I think artists in general have the opportunity to actually be a, in control of how you influence and um, make decisions about how we as people live in this world in terms right. of how we experience spaces and how we experience products and things that we put in our hand. Right, right, right. Is there one particular attraction here that, that, that you sense is the most important to you? Well, the one we're standing in front of me, like there's a lot of great giant stainless steel shiny sculptures here, which is really my marquee, but being in this area here where it shows um, this idea of where I started with, which is um, um, documenting of the things that I, that I have that are in my body, which is these issues with heart disease. So uh, me having heart disease, I take uh, over um, you know, six pills a day. I captured all my prescription bottles for the last 10 years. These are my names on it. Uh, 57,000 pills, the amount of pills I put in my body. Wow, it's, it's, it's horrifying, it's horrifying, but it, it shows what, what is happening in our society. There's a friend that I know in today's world, and she's, she is the non-traditional medicine, and she says, you know, medicine gives you one way, but if you get to the sense of who you are deep inside of you, you look behind those walls of those barriers that you have. There are ways that you can do it by healthy eating, with vitamins, nutrients, and all other sorts of things. Did you ever look in those, those past two? No, I mean, I have heart disease, so it's genetic. So, uh, so do I. So even if I become a Presbyterian or vegetarian, I'm still generally quiet. So I think, um, yeah, sure, I watch in how to kind of limit the things that I want to put in my body um, and control what those kind of things or effects can do in my body. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm still living my life, um, right. living my best life, and doing things in moderation, as they say. That's what it's all about. If someone wanted to go ahead and follow you, how can they follow you to know where you're showing up next to this? Like so that? you can follow me on all my socials, uh, J-E-F-R-E underscore artist on IG, or Jeffrey Manuel, Studio Jeffrey, or www.jefre.org, and each of my websites. Fantastic. Well, Jeffrey, it's been wonderful having the opportunity to interview you. My name is Rosalind Khan. This show airs every Tuesday on Shout Entertainment. KXLA, living your best life. My name is Rosalind Khan. You can follow me on all social media under the name of Rosalind Khan. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Rosalind. It's wonderful to interview an artist. I appreciate everything that you do, and it's oh, beautiful. Appreciate you for giving opportunity to artists. Well, thank you so much. Gratitude beyond words. Namaste. It. Alzheimer's and I remember we were all in the hospital room and for like 10 seconds she recognized who we were and then it was gone.
So it's like a thief. It's taking away memories and um, who you are as a person. Over five and a half million Americans have Alzheimer's. That number may double by 2050. For more information, visit rightfocus.org. Hey, are you looking to get blinged out? Well, look no further. Boss Lady Bling Blingy have all the bling you need. You can find us online at Lady Blingy 4 on IG or Lady Blingy on Facebook or www.bossladyblingblingy here in sunny San Diego at 2031 Commercial Street, San Diego, California. Call us at 619-617-4586. Good morning. This is Dave DeSmit. I'm with Banner Printing Company. Uh, we're a printing brokerage. We produce, provide books, letterheads, envelopes, laser checks, accounts payable or payroll. And we provide uh, promotional products, things like jackets, shirts with your logo on it, signs for the sides of trucks, and banners uh, of any kind. Hello everybody, my name is Rosalind Khan. We are with Chow Entertainment, living your best life. Today we have a pleasure and honor of being at the LA Art Box with Bernie. Say hi everybody. Hi everybody. Welcome to the lab. Well, this lady is absolutely amazing. She used to enter the world, the corporate world, from a large makeup manufacturing company. And she took that and she said, you know, there's, there's something missing in my life. Now, did you just wake up one day and this is a process over time, or how, how did that happen? No, I've actually always been into art. I've been I'm very fortunate to have very supportive parents that encouraged me to be a, a creative. Um, but really, this was an idea that I discussed with my son during the early days of COVID and quarantine, and having him feel a little bit more connected to his roots. And I felt like, you know, how many other kids feel this way? So I decided, along with my family's support, along with an inspiration from my 19-year-old son at the time, to open a cultural content space. That is wonderful. So here we have a story of a COVID success. <laughs> yeah. Not a mortality, not a passing on, but the rebirth and coming up with a new opportunity. Now, of all the different arts that you've brought to this museum, is there an all-time favorite one that you were most proud of that you thought was never possible and yet you made it happen? To be honest, we opened right before the holidays, so we opened with a more uh, inclusive, uh, cultural lighting story. However, I'm very excited over the next six months where I will be featuring um, creatives from the Filipino American community. Starting with Jeffrey, of course, and then come late May, an exhibition that is uh, filled with a collaborative of film and creatives, whether they be musicians, artists, filmmakers, um, painters, and whatnot, to really show uh, the strength of, you know, what would I would say, the creative village that is Filipino American. That is absolutely awesome. That is absolutely awesome. I've always been um, interested in the arts. In fact, I went to UCLA. I majored in industrial design. I wanted to be an architect at one point. I dabbled a lot in photography. And really, in the last, again, a post COVID uh, reawakening of sorts, um, we picked up the camera and started being a photographer. Wow. Facebook, same name, and 
and we are located at 8020 Melrose Boulevard, right between uh, Fairfax and Crescent Heights. Well, what are the hours you guys are open? We are open uh, Wednesday through Sunday, 12 to 6. Nurse Access Staffing is seeking experienced RN and LVNs. For more information, call us at 818-697-4484 or check us out on our website, nurseaccessstaffing.com.